Yo, what's up guys? So I finally get to watch this. I was on vacation when it came out a few days ago and I was like, nope, can't do it. Gotta spend time with family. It was so hard, but finally here, BTS Wing short film number one begins. So this is like the first short film out of like, what, two that have come out so far that we know about? I mean, I hope there's gonna be more than that. I mean, they like to do the whole trilogy thing. Remember back with like Akbar and Rob, we watched like Run, I Need You, Prologue. That was one of the best series I've ever seen in my life, best trilogies. I've been waiting for something like this because you guys know I love a good storyline and BTS has some some of the best, most rich, deep, intricate, complex storyline backstories I've ever seen. So without further ado, I'm excited. Let's just get into this, guys. BTS Wings short film number one. Begin. There we go. Got the old bubbles, the big hit bubbles. No idea what to expect with this. The rhythms of day and night. So different birds coming from so opposite poles mingle during this time. Hmm. Day and night. Reminds me of Kill Bill's beginning. The whole whistling thing. I can't be the only one who thought of that. Alright, Jungkook. Oh. Yo, so he's just had a nightmare about getting hit by a car, right? What's with the piano, though? I really wish I could read Hangul. It's like he's on a stage right now. Oh, wings, because he's got the bird on his shirt and everything. Who's that? Kind of look like Shuga. So he's dreaming right now for sure. He didn't wake up out of his bed. He woke up into a different dream for sure. Okay, so he's painting. He's thinking. He's remembering. Oh crap. You know, oh my, oh, you know what? The fire. Uh, this, I bet this is, hmm? That's why, that's why he's so... I'll explain in a second, guys, hold up. Okay, that was confusing, though. Oh, boy. This is just a cluster of... What the... He picks it back up, and it's wings. Raven! Was that a raven? That's a raven, isn't it? Raven symbolizes death. Which... How does that happen? What? Okay, no, you can't do this to me, because I think, I thought I had it figured out. Don't, don't just, no, that's not it. That's not it. We got like 20 seconds left. Oh, and we just get an outro. That's all we get, guys. Just a big middle finger outro. Like, you were about to get it, but psych, just threw you for a curveball. Okay, I'll tell you guys what I thought. I'll tell you guys my opinion so far on what I thought was going on. So immediately with like the very beginning with like that sound kind of coming in, that back sound, that immediately reminded me of the whole like trilogy with like I Need You Run prologue series. It had that same like sound to it. So I think that was sort of like a wink to the audience to say like, yo, these are connected. So you need to pay attention and try to remember what those were about and apply it to this. Fairly confident that Jungkook got hit by a car. I don't know if he died or anything like that, but I remember hearing that like screeching sound in that trilogy. So I'm not gonna lie, the piano really threw me off in the beginning. I thought it might just represent like music in general because they're all in the music industry, but I think it's much more specific than that. I immediately thought back of when Akbar and I were binge reacting to the August D mixtape, and I made a comment about the piano, and people were saying all in the comments like, oh, you know, Shuga plays the piano, Shuga actually plays the piano, and stuff like that, and I was like, what? I don't know if any of the other members play piano, but I know Shuga does because you guys have told me that, thank you. I think that's important because in the very beginning of the short film, when when Jungkook picked up that piece of paper and saw that like drawing of the boy and he's like, who's this fool? I think that was Suga, at least that's immediately what I thought. So let's review. We got a picture that kind of looked like Suga. We got a piano burning and Suga can play piano. Well, you might be like, yo, Josh, two points don't make a pattern. Well, I got a third point for you. Remember way back in like the prologue, I need you run series. There was a scene where like Suga was going nuts. He was like having these like breakdowns or whatever. And he was like pouring kerosene everywhere. Remember that? And he like lit the, it looked like he lit the house on fire with himself inside. So I don't know if that 
was like symbolizing suicide or whatever, but it would kind of make sense in this context, wouldn't it? Because you got the burning piano, probably Shuga's piano. You've got his good friend Junkook sort of waking up and trying to like maybe get past his friend's death, try to find a way to approach it and like deal with it and move on and get past it. And he's he's struggling. The thing that confused me is like, what, what does the car accident have to do with that that he kept flashing back to? Because it seemed like that was what the nightmare was originally about. So either this dude just done died and he's in the afterlife trying to process one of his best friend's deaths or he's just having a nightmare that started out with him getting hit by a car but then transformed into this huge stage of metaphors and him trying to deal with his friend's death. Now with any K-pop music video, they give you hints in the title. The title is a really big deal, guys. And with the title of this, wings, I think that's symbolic because wings kind of means soaring. It kind of means like, you know, we can fly, we can get past this. And I think that's the process he's trying to go through right now. He's trying to spread his wings. He's almost like a phoenix that rises from the ashes after being burnt down. I think that's very important and it says begin. So this is the beginning and the beginning of any process. You've got to approach and deal with these issues before you can move past them. You've got to process them before you can move on. So what about the scene where he was dealing with the painting? I think that's very important. It's symbolic because it was sort of came to him. You know, he didn't really have to do anything. He was just standing there. All of a sudden, he's got a brush in his hand. He's got a canvas in front of him that already has an existing painting, probably of the same dude that was on the piece of paper. This is important, guys. It's important because it's showing the way that we can sometimes deal with the past. We like to rewrite history in a way that benefits us in the present or the future, you know, to remember things that were better and maybe change some things, alter some things, and paint the past a little bit differently to help us in the present. And he was about to do that, guys. Jungkook was this close to touching brush to canvas. He was so close to altering the past in a way that would be easier for the present. But then something happened. He started to remember again. He got flashbacks immediately of what happened. And he was reminded of the hard facts that his friend is gone and he just gasped and dropped the picture. Then that's when the blood covered the canvas, symbolizing the reality of death. And then we see him just get so upset, so distraught, just emotionally start shaking his head like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to deal with the past. I don't want to confront the facts. But in the end, that's the only way to get past it. He knew that. He knew he had to confront it, and he did. As painful as it was, and as soon as he decided to confront the facts, face the music, and really process the past, that's when these birds started flying away. I 100% believe that these birds are symbolizing death, and I think them flying away symbolize a freedom, a release, of dealing with the past, and dealing with those emotions, and being able to be free of them for the first time. And when he picks up the picture, the same picture that used to be Shuga's face, now it's a bird. Now it's saying, yo, you've dealt with these things. You're free. You can move on. You can start to rebuild. He did it. That's why it's called Wings. That's why it's called Begin. This is the origin story of him being able to process the past and move on for the very first time. It's beautiful, guys. I absolutely love this. This is a masterpiece. I'm sure there's going to be a thousand different opinions, thousand different theories on what this actually means, but I believe that my theory is true because of the consistency with every scene supporting this in a different way. I think that there isn't a single point in here that doesn't really support that. I think that if you were to look at a different theory, you'd be like, oh, that's interesting, but how do you apply that to every scene? And will that make sense with every scene? you got to find a theory that works and is supported with every scene in the short film. If there's a scene that just conflicts with one of the theories, you got to toss it out and restart. I'm loving this, guys, if you can't tell already. This is what I love. I love dissecting these things. I love the rich and deep and complex, intricate metaphors and the symbolism and just all of it so beautiful. BTS! Can't wait to watch part two. We're going to watch that right after this. Thank you guys so so much for requesting this and thank you for watching. Please leave any other suggestions and comments down below. Also definitely let me know what your theory was on this. I want to hear from you guys. I'm going to read all the comments. I want to figure this out. I mean there's got to be stuff that I miss. You guys always have awesome points. Collectively you guys know like a million times more than I ever will. You're going to know things that I've never seen or heard and you're going to be able to put all those pieces together that I might have missed. So please let me know below. Again thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely follow my Snapchat and my Twitter and I will see you guys in part two. Peace.